One of the best ways to maximize the value of your miles and points is snagging a last minute award seat. But let's be honest, as fun as that sounds, most of us are not going to hop on a plane and fly around the world on one or two days notice. So today I wanna to cover a few ways that you can find available award seats on specific dates well in advance. And the main tool that I'm gonna show you is my hidden secret that lets me travel hack like a pro despite having a regular nine to five job. Okay, so the first and most obvious way that you can use your miles and points for specific dates is booking directly through your credit card provider's travel site. For example, I can log into my American Express travel site, enter my desired departure and arrival airports, and the specific dates that I want to fly on. And pretty easily, I find a ton of different available flights that I can book using my American Express membership reward points. And the same applies for other major card providers as well. This method is very convenient. However, you're usually only looking at one cent per point, which is fine, but especially if you're looking at a business or first class seat, earning enough miles and points for those is honestly unrealistic. Now, I don't wanna discourage you from using that method because if you're just getting started with the miles and points game, then I always say that it is better to book something than to sit around waiting to learn everything and get the maximum value out of your points. My first flight ever to Europe was booked using the exact strategy that I just showed you. And yes, I burned well over 100,000 points for a flight that would have cost a lot less had I used some other methods that I now know. But it's what opened the door to travel hacking for me and allowed me to fall in love with travel travel in the first place. But the real question we want to answer in today's video is how can you find those coveted saver award seats that give you higher redemption values on your points of three, five, or even 10 cents per point, but on specific dates, and how can you book them well in advance? That's where the secret tool that I mentioned earlier comes in. It's a free site called seats.arrow, and I want to be clear from the start that they are not sponsoring this video in any way. This is genuinely just a tool that I personally use all the time as someone who loves the travel hack, but can't always jump on a last minute award seat. Seats.Arrow aggregates available saver award seats across tons of different award programs into one easy to view menu so that you don't have to waste hours of your life combing through different loyalty programs one day at a time. And the available filters allow you to search for specific dates and specific departure and arrival airports. And like I said, this is showing us what's known as saver award seats. And those are the award seats that are going to give you much better redemption value on your miles and points, meaning it will cost you fewer miles and points to book a saver award seat versus a normal award booking. Okay, but enough about all of that. Let me show you how seats.arrow actually works. So first of all, this tool is completely free to use, and they do have a paid version that allows you to create alerts and search 12 months in advance instead of the two months that the free version allows you, and the paid version is $10 per month. So despite the fact that I have the pro account, all the features that I'm gonna talk about in today's video are available with the free version. There's a lot of different filters and search options that you can use, so we'll start by clicking on the Explore menu, and you'll see this drop-down list of all of the different loyalty programs that you can search using seats.arrow. And it's important to note that seats.arrow is going to search all of the partner airlines for each of these programs. So if we select Air Canada, for example, they are not just showing us Air Canada flights. They're also showing us the 52 partner airlines that Aeroplan has as well. There isn't an easy way on here to see which airlines fall under which alliance programs, but one of these search options that we're going to cover in a second allows you to search through all of these programs at the same time. So don't worry about that too much. So this show flights from menu at the top allows you to filter your departure and arrival by region, which narrows things down a little bit, but if you're looking for a specific airport and a specific date, then we're gonna have to narrow things down a bit more. Scrolling down from there, we have by far the best part about seats.arrow, and that is this beautiful chart of available award seats that would quite literally take us hours to find on our own. While this is a great starting point, it is a bit of a chaotic mess with different departure and arrival airports and dates that are all over the map. We can click on any of these column headers to sort by that column, so I could sort by the dates or sort by a specific departure or arrival airports. But if you wanna get really specific, which is kind of the whole point of today's video, then you wanna go up and use this search bar and we can use this in a number of different ways. So since I'm currently filtering from North America to Europe, if I type in JFK into the search bar, it's actually gonna bring up all of the available award flights departing from JFK. I could then enter a second airport code like Frankfurt, for example, and I'm now 
now seeing all of the available award seats through Aeroplan in the next 60 days, specifically from JFK to Frankfurt. And if I want to filter even more, I can then add on a specific date to that, and I am now seeing all of the available award seats through Aeroplan partners from JFK to Frankfurt on this specific date. And what you may have noticed is these filters are instantaneous, which if you've ever spent time searching on airline sites, you know that some of these tools are painfully slow to use because they are pulling in so much data. What makes seats.aero different is that they are constantly combing through these loyalty programs rather than just pulling this data once you actually submit your search. And by looking at this last checked column, it tells us when seats.aero last found that specific available award seat. If I get rid of the date in the search bar to bring a larger chart back up, I want to point out that the green bubbles are ideal since they are showing direct or non-stop flights, and the blue bubbles mean that this particular flight has a connection of some kind. And when you hover over these bubbles, you can see the two-letter airline code, which again, if you don't have these memorized, you can just do a quick Google search. So LH is Lufthansa. And you'll also see the number of available award seats, which is really helpful if you're booking for yourself and a spouse, for example. You only bought one ticket? The ability to find these available award seats is amazing on its own, but what I can then do is click on this information button on the right hand side of the screen, navigate to the class that I'm wanting to book, and from here I can jump directly to this exact award seat on Aeroplan, where I could then transfer my points and book this flight. Or it even shows me that this exact award seat is available to book through United's Mileage Plus program, so I could open up both of these and see which option is going to give me a better redemption value on my points. And if you're thinking that this doesn't apply to you because you don't have any aeroplane points or United Miles, remember that you can transfer your Chase, American Express, Capital One, and Built points to Aeroplan, for example. If you've wasted hours of your life coming through multiple award programs looking for a needle in a haystack, then you probably see the value of this, especially considering it's completely free. So the simplified flow that I follow is find the available award seat using seats.aero, jump directly to the airline's website where I can then transfer my credit card points to book that flight. And if you want to know which card providers can be transferred to which airline programs, then you can learn everything you need to know using our free Transfer Partners Cheat Sheet, which I'll link to down in the description. So this Explore page is fantastic, but if you want to streamline things even further, Seats.Arrow also has a search menu, which not only lets you input your departure and arrival airport, or you can search multiple airports at once using the multi-airport codes feature, but this search tool is going to search through all of the airline programs at once once rather than just searching one of them at a time. If you know you have to fly on this specific date, then you can just click on this blue search button, but you can also search three days or seven days before or after your entered departure date. But when I do that search, you can see that not only am I getting available award seats across a ton of different airline programs, but seats.aero is actually working in the background to refresh everything that it's currently showing me in order to verify whether or not that award seat is still available. Again, you can sort by column or search in the exact same way we did on the Explore page, but pulling up this amount of data without a tool like this would involve navigating to every single one of these sites, in a lot of cases creating a free account with each of them, and then patiently just sit around and wait until the information loads. Not to mention that as you can see back on the seeds.arrow screen, a lot of the possible combinations don't have any availability, meaning you would just be spinning your wheels coming through all of these non-available bookings just to find the few premium award seats that can actually be booked with miles some points. That sounds terrible. <laughs> And if you are looking to be a bit more spontaneous and adventurous, but you still have to travel on a specific date, then what you can do is actually search from your local airport to a general region, like Europe, for example. So this is going to give us the cheapest way to fly on a specific date somewhere in Europe, as long as you don't care about the specific location, which I think is a lot of fun. And honestly, this is one of my favorite ways to use this tool. Lastly, you can also search by routes using the three letter airport codes, but given the flexibility of the first few options I showed you, this particular tab is not one that I personally use very often. So if you're like me and your travel is not typically flexible enough to hop on a last minute award seat, or you're just looking to save yourself countless hours of searching, then having a tool like seats.arrow in your travel hacking toolkit is going to save you so much time and help you maximize the value of your hard earned miles and points. And with this, you can now answer questions like, what is the cheapest way for me to get to Europe from my home 
airport? What first class routes can I fly right now using as few points as possible? What's the least points I need just to get away from the weekend, even if that's just a domestic flight? And how can I fly to the moon using points? Call us a space taxi. Okay, maybe not that last one, although Virgin Galactic is kind of moving in that direction. Again, Seats.Aero paid us nothing to talk about them, we just really love their tool, and I wanted to share it with all of you so that you can get the most out of your hard-earned miles and points and save yourself a lot of time. And if you do want to help support our ability to create these unbiased reviews, then the easiest way to do that is by checking out our top travel credit cards page the next time you are looking to earn points by signing up for a credit card, which supports our mission here at Daily Travel without any additional cost to you. But as always, thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy travel hacking.